Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So in today's video, I am going to be going through the five biggest bra myths out there. Now, before I get started, I have a little PSA. If you don't mind, please like, subscribe, share. Really helps the channel with the YouTube algorithm, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get back to today's video. As a bra fitter with many years experience, a bra boutique under my belt and an online bra website. I get to see a lot of women, I get to speak to a lot of women and I've heard a lot of these bra myths so I thought what better way than to bring these myths to you today. So <laughs> the first one is your bra does not last forever and I'm sure you've heard this before and I'm sure you're like yeah yeah I know this but there's a lot of ladies that don't. There's a lot of women that have got a favorite bra in their bra drawer and they wear it constantly. Or what I tend to see is women that come into the boutique and they say to me, Nicola, bras are really, really expensive, which I get, I understand. So I'm just gonna buy this one. So my instant question then is, so how did you have in rotation they say well it's this one because the one I came in in my wires are popping out they're uncomfortable that's why I've come to you today and if that's the case you've waited way too long to buy new bras but your bra does not last forever and if you're just buying one bra at a time and you're not buying another one for 12 18 months two years which I've heard then you're doing yourself no good when it comes to that bra actually doing anything for you. And I had a, a lady in recently, I'm sure she won't mind me saying this, she came in and she bought bras and she said, I've not been in since 2018. And she came in and bought bras and she thought her bra was working for her until she tried the new ones on and was like, wow, I left it too late. I really should have come in sooner and you should do and if it's too expensive to buy three or four new bras at a time well buy one bra every month or one bra every other month it spaces out the cost you don't see it as a massive investment but it also means your bras will last you longer and they'll give you support and they can potentially stop painful shoulder problems and back problems because your bra is fitting you correctly. Yes, that's correct. By having an ill-fitting bra, you can actually cause yourself problems with your shoulders and your backs, which will be more costly in the long term than replacing your bra and getting a bra more frequently. Number two, I've measured my size with a tape measure these are the measurements I've got, therefore this is the size I should be. Got news for you, the tape measure is the starting point. The tape measure would be great if once you took all your measurements, all bra manufacturers used the same sizing system for bras, but they don't. When it comes to a tape measure, always, always think about it as this is my starting point, this is my guide, this is where I know I need to start with. And in the boutique, that's what we do. We use a tape measure and it assesses where we need to start. And then from there, what we tend to do, or what, not we tend to do, what we do is we then will put you in the measurements that the tape measure says. We will look at what's working, what's not. Is the band too tight, too loose? Are the cups too tight, too loose? And then once we've assessed that, we then alter the size accordingly. So please do not think that the tape measure is that magic tablet, that magic that's just gonna give you your bra size. It's going to give you a starting point, which can therefore lead to finding your ideal bra size. Number three, so you've found your size. You've decided that you need to buy bras more frequently, but you've now decided that you want to wear a padded plunge. But you have pendulous asymmetric breasts. For example, not all bra styles are going to suit 
all breast shapes. You really need to be choosing a style that suits your breast shapes. And I have news for you. Not everybody can wear every style and you need to get that out of your head and not be disappointed if, for instance, you try a molded bra on and it's just not working because there are so many different styles out there. There is one that will work perfectly for you, but we need to get past this thought process of, well, I wear molded bras, I want a molded bra, therefore that's all I'm gonna wear and I'm gonna get really disappointed if this molded bra does not work. Don't do that, you know. Think about your breast shape. Think about the fact that not all bras will work for all breast shapes. You might try and wear a molded bra, but your boobs have a different idea. And they're like, mm -mm, it's not gonna work for me. Nope, nope, nope. I just don't like molded bras. And you're like, but it should work. I'm gonna make it work. And it's just not working. You get frustrated. You get put off buying bras. You're like, nothing works. And something will work. It's just opening your mind to the fact that there are different possibilities and different fits out there. And I guarantee, once you find the correct fit and the correct style for you, game changing. If you are interested, I do offer virtual fittings, or if you are in the San Diego area, you can come into the store and I can definitely help you find your ideal fit. Point four, I am a C cup. So I can buy bras by the letter, by the cup size, and it doesn't really matter what band size I choose because a C is a C, right? Well, guess what? It's not. A C is not a C in all band sizes. So your cup size is dependent on your band size. And I've done a lot of videos in the past about sister sizing and how it works. And what you need to always be thinking when you're buying a bra, if you're doing it on your own and you're not going to get bra fitted and you think you can do this, that's absolutely fine, you, you can. You know, there's enough information out there for you to make a decision. But what you need to be aware of is that you always look at band size first and then work on cup size. Band size is the most important thing then your cup size because once you get the band to fit it's easier to find the cup size but if you and what i mean by that is if you're a 34 band then and you try a c cup and that works great but if you're thinking i'll go by c cup and you try a 38 c on and be like well i'm a c cup why is this not working it's not going to be because a 34 c cup is not the same size as a 38 C cup. If you're interested in knowing why that is or you want more detail on that, I'll leave a link below in the, in the comments, explain going to a video that I made about sister sizing and how it works and how you can work out your sister size. Point five. So you've bought one bra and you are going to wear this bra with every outfit that you have because it's the only bra that you have and you're like, this is it, I can wear it with everything. Well, again, I have a little bit of news for you. You should really be trying to have a collection of bras and have a bra, no, have a bra closet or a bra capsule, whatever you like to call it. And in this capsule, you should have different bra styles for different occasions. I have this conversation all the time and I get, oh, well, this bra is just, you know, it's giving me a lot more lift than I, I actually need at the moment or it's not giving me enough lift. And like, as I say to people, you have different bras for different occasions. I have bras that I'll wear all day, every day. I'll have bras that I wear to go out in the evening in. I'll have my sports bra, I'll have a strapless bra. You can't have one bra and think it's going to cover everything. It's like having one pair of shoes and thinking you can wear those shoes for everything. You don't do it with your shoes, don't do it with your bras. You want to invest in that capsule. And it doesn't have to be expensive and it doesn't have to have be 10 or 15 bras. You can get away with having three or four bras in your capsule to start with. And once you do have those bras in your capsule, it makes 
the outfit choice is so much easier. It also means that the bras that you choose and the outfits that you're working with, it's a lot easier to pair them together and to create looks and to get that finishing look from your foundation piece. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.